You might think that the honey badger is the real OG muster lid with its ball-biting shenanigans down in Africa. But let me introduce you to the wolverine, which is quite literally a honey badger on special juice. The wolverine is known for slapping around massive bears on a daily basis and enduring some of the harshest climates on the planet. In this video, I will go over every single badass factoid there is to know about this little demon, covering everything from its godlike tenacity when faced with extreme dangers. I will also, of course, assess how it would match up against the legendary honey badger. And just like my other videos, I will be showing showcasing its prehistoric cousin, which was actually one of the largest mustelids to ever walk on this planet. So get comfy with some snacks and let's get started. The wolverine has evolved in maybe the harshest environments we have on Earth. It can be found in large parts of North America, small parts of Asia, Scandinavian countries, even extending into Hello Siberian there. territory. It is basically sharing and competing for resources with one of the biggest and most powerful life-canceling machines known to man, while also being exposed to extreme weather conditions, making them expert survivalists. This is what has molded them into such fierce creatures. Heck, they even got an immortal superhero based on them. The Wolverine is also the ultimate Sigma, as they are largely solitary creatures, only teaming up during mating seasons. They are also great mothers, as the father usually skedaddles real quick after the hormone deed is complete. The mother will therefore nurse the young by herself for several weeks, teaching them everything they need to know in order to survive the hostile environments they spawn in. And even though the Wolverine indeed is a scavenger at heart, they are also known for taking down massive prey, like like elk and deer, sometimes displaying exceptional fighting techniques during their hunts. Before we jump into the whole honey badger versus wolverine debate, let's check out some of its more notable feats of strength and bravery. First up, we have the fact that they can fend off entire packs of wolves, and it is indeed known for slapping around larger bears on a daily basis, although mostly black bears, which also get scared of cats, so take that with a grain of salt. Anyway, a wolverine has also allegedly taken down a freaking polar bear on its own, more than once actually. All these stories are also very similar, all of them stating that the wolverine somehow latches itself to the polar bear's neck, effectively unsubscribing the polar bear's oxygen subscription. There is also an anecdote told by an Inuit native of Alaska, which describes a dramatic encounter where a polar bear crushed a wolverine to its chest, but the wolverine managed to, apparently, tear its heart out. That last one is a bit hard to believe, but with so many stories, there must be some truth to them. One thing is certain, the wolverine is a truly fearless and fierce warrior, with an incredibly potent tenacity and willpower, only matched by that of the ball-biting honey bear. Badger. The fact that it has such an overwhelmingly strong mindset, similar to that of the honey badger, is what makes their matchup such an interesting debate. All of these adaptations have also made them very well respected among indigenous cultures. They are often featured in myths and legends for their godlike resilience and strength. This reputation eventually also spilled over to mainstream media. The wolverine is, for example, often used as a mascot for team sports like American football, as the wolverine reflects qualities that sports teams often embody, like their toughness and unwavering fighting spirit. The Wolverine has also given life to one of the most iconic Marvel superheroes ever, namely the one and only Wolverine, which basically reflects everything the real Wolverine is all about. Before we discuss the legendary showdown between the Wolverine and the Honey Badger, please do consider subscribing if you haven't already, and let me know in the comments who you think would win between these two meatheads. Now, if you didn't know, the Wolverine is also part of the Mustelid family, sharing a bloodline with absolute maniacs like the giant River Otter, American Badger, and of course, the infamous ball-biting Honey Badger. Badger, which brings me to my next point. You see, the Wolverine and the Honey Badger have long been compared to each other, and there is a heated debate about which of them would win in a hypothetical showdown. Some people even compare it to an immovable object meeting an unstoppable force, which, to be fair, is very accurate indeed. Because of this heated debate, I thought I would very quickly let you know why the Wolverine is indeed referred to as a Honey Badger on performance-enhancing pharmaceuticals. First off, the Wolverine has a notable size advantage, weighing in at around 40 pounds, while the Honey Badger weighs around 30 pounds, which in such a showdown will play a massive role. And even with the heavier weight, the Wolverine is still faster, with a top speed of around 30 miles per hour or 48 kilometers per hour. This is roughly 57% faster than the Honey Badger. They both have some insane problem-solving skills so they probably stand pretty equal in terms of brain capacity, although we don't really see any stories like Stoffel from the Wolverine's side, so the Honey Badger might have a small edge in terms of brain. Now you might have heard that the Honey Badger has insanely durable and thick skin, which is most definitely true, as it can mess around with lions, hyenas, porcupines and survive to tell the tale but it does not have the same thick and insulating fur as the Wolverine, so combined, they both probably have a very similar level of defenses. In terms of weaponry, the Wolverine once again brings home the points, as it not only has a larger set of teeth, but also has massive claws compared to the ball-biting honey badger. I am sorry to interrupt the broadcast, but I made a little oopsie 
a mistake, if you will. You see, the claws of the wolverine and the honey badger are actually about the same size at four centimeters, but the wolverine has semi-retractable claws, making them way sharper than that of the honey badger. So all in all, this debate should not really be a debate in the first place, as the wolverine really is in a league of its own. Now, as mentioned at the beginning of the video, the wolverine lives in some of the harshest and most inhospitable places on Earth. And despite sharing habitat with massive life-canceling machines like bears and even tigers, that's the least of their problems. You see, unlike many other animals that inhabit these harsh and cold climates, the wolverine does not hibernate during the colder winter months. This is possible due to their premium frost-resistant fur, making them able to withstand extreme low temperatures. This has also made them expert scavengers. They play a vital role in the ecosystem by keeping areas clean of carrion. They will eat just about anything, including bones and even teeth. Despite being one of the largest mustelids, it's still extremely agile. Not only can it travel over 15 miles every single day in very deep snow, but it also excels in climbing, which is actually a very uncommon skill among mustelids. So far, we have basically just talked about how ferocious and tough this little menace can be, which is why the next part might surprise you. The reason the wolverine has to be so tough and fearless is largely because of its inhospitable surroundings. It's basically the only way it can stay alive. But when you take the wolverine out of this inhospitable environment and into a more comfortable setting, it suddenly becomes like a little puppy. Meet Steve Croshall, also known as the Wolverine Man. Steve is an Alaskan resident with a deep fascination for wildlife. This man runs a rehabilitation center for wild animals and one day had to take in a lost wolverine cub with which he over the years built a pretty remarkable relationship, very similar to that of a dog. Lastly, we shall now delve into the prehistoric ancestor of the wolverine, which had enormous body proportions. We just need to travel back around 23 million years during the Oligocene epoch. Meet the absolute unit that was the Megalictus. This extinct genus of the mustelid family has been found all over North America. This monster weighed around 220 pounds or 100 kilograms and could reach lengths of over 6 feet or 185 centimeters. It had a very robust and muscular build with an abnormally large head and powerful jaws. Its body structure is often compared to a mix between the modern jaguar and the black bear. It was basically a refrigerator-built bear-cat hybrid. This massive size also makes it one of the largest mustelids to ever walk on this planet, and it was probably a formidable predator during its time period. Although this prehistoric mustelid was indeed more closely related to the Wolverine. It is also related to the honey badger, so this might be the closest we can come to an actual lion-sized honey badger. Imagine if this thing had just a fraction of the godlike tenacity and fearless attitude as its modern relatives do. It would be one terrifying creature indeed. Anyways, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, then maybe watch some of my other videos on screen, and I will see you in the next one.